What's up guys, Asian here again with another theory crafting video and today we're going to be discussing the DPS difference between elemental blockade versus unstable wall of elements. So why did this topic come to light here? Well, I've seen a few videos, uh, this is specific to actually Magical Warden, um, I've seen a few um, guides I should say, a couple of people talking about unstable wall of elements versus elemental blockade and how unstable is actually supposed to be better for magical wardens compared to using um, blockade. And the rationale behind this is uh, because of the way that our dots are timed. So for a magical warden, one of our primary dots, if you want to consider it a dot, is going to be deep fissure, which uh, you have to basically use every three seconds in order to get the most out of it. Then you also have other dots like fetter infection, which costs, uh, which lasts for 10 seconds. Then you have Winter's Revenge, which lasts for 12 seconds. And so a lot of the rationale behind using Unstable versus Block 8 is uh, Unstable lasts for 6 seconds, while block Elemental Block 8 lasts for 8 seconds. So the idea behind this is because uh, 6 is a uh, divisible by 12, or I should say 12 is divisible by 6, and 6 is divisible by 3, Unstable Wall of Elements will fit into your rotation better and end up giving you more DPS compared to a Elemental Block 8. And while that might seem true in the theory, uh, in practice this is actually not quite the case because it's not quite as simple as taking um, two abilities and saying this one fits better with our timings of our other abilities and therefore it's better. So really quickly just to kind of go over uh, the two different abilities that we're talking about here. So we have Elemental Block Aid. So this one is pretty much what every single magic DPS runs uh, and it's mainly because it costs less than the alternative which is um, unstable wall of elements, um, and it also uh, lasts for longer. Well, actually, it doesn't cost less, but it lasts for longer. So that basically allows you to get more spambles out, and spambles are really what's going to give you the more D most DPS, not necessarily the dots themselves. Now, if we take a look at the damage itself, elemental block aid deals 1463 um, damage every one second. Unstable Wall of Elements also deals 1463 damage every one second, but it also has a burst damage at the very end of it, whether it's because the six seconds run out or because you decide to recast it early. So that last bit of damage there, in this case 3745, is actually more than twice the magic damage that you would normally get if you got the eight second duration Elemental Block Aid instead. Um, so in other words, the total amount of damage dealt by Unstable Wall of Elements uh, within six seconds is more than the amount of damage that block Elemental Block Aid deals within its eight seconds. However, there is the lower duration of Unstable Wall of Elements, and this means that you will have less amount of time in order to use your spammables. And so the main question is, um, where does that fall into play? Where does the additional spammables come into play? In addition, because it lasts for six seconds, you have to recast it more often, which means you will have worse sustain overall. That's just an inherent nature of just casting more abilities in a given time frame. You will end up using more of your Magicka uh, in a given parse. So in order to kind of figure this out, uh, Six Million Dummy actually isn't all that great when it comes to pure sustained duration. So what I did here is I actually did two parses on the 25 Million Dummy instead. And that'll give us a better idea of the total DPS contribution for each ability, as well as how many times I have to use Balance in order to sustain a full Light Attack rotation. So I have both of the parses saved up here. So this first one we're going to be looking at is your typical Elemental Block Aid. So this is what I recommend. This is what a lot of other... Uh, endgame PvEers recommend uh, you run. And so we can see here uh, that Block 8 of Fire deals 35-30 DPS, and if you swap over to the Unstable Wall of Fire uh, parse here, you can see that when we combine the dot with the actual explosion at the end, uh, this combined deals about 3,800 DPS. So already we can see that Unstable is more DPS than uh, Elemental Block 8. However, like I said earlier, we have to also take into consideration the additional times I have to use balance as well as the, the lower DPS because of our uh, fewer spambles. So our spamble is screaming, screaming Cliff Racer, and so we can see here with the unstable parse, we got 81 casts in, 62% of them were crits, and we had 1726 DPS. Now if we compare that to our elemental blockade parse, Screaming Cliff Racer, I got 101 casts in, 65% of them were crits, and it dealt 2206 DPS. So if we take, take a difference in their DPS, Block A deals about 300 less DPS than Unstable. However, our spammable 
we went up 500 DPS when we used Elemental Blockade. So that's a net difference of about 200 or so DPS. And you can see that reflected in our total DPS count, 37.3 compared to 36.9. And so that additional uh, ability to basically spam or spammable really makes up that difference in DPS. So the difference in DPS between Blockade and Unstable is pretty small, um, but because Unstable means you have to recast it more often, leaving less time to deal more spammables, your spammable DPS goes down, and arguably your spammable DPS is also going to be fairly important overall uh, to your overall DPS. Now the other thing we have to look at is our regen versus drain per second. So with uh, Blockade of Fire, we have 1686 regen versus 1719 drain for a difference of about 30 or so. If we take a look at unstable, 1701 compared to 1743 or 40 or so. So while the relative difference is, I should say the absolute difference is pretty small, 30 versus 40, the regen versus drain is still a little bit higher on the unstable compared to uh, block 8. And if we take a look at how many times I had to cast balance, on our unstable parts, I had to cast balance 40 times compared to our... Uh, block 8 parts where I only had to cast balance 32 times, so that is a reduction in 20 uh, of 20%. So I had to cast balance 20% fewer times in order to sustain a full light attack rotation here. So that's kind of where block 8 and unstable kind of stand. In terms of DPS difference, block 8 is going to give you a little bit more DPS just because you're able to use more spammables. So it doesn't really matter that unstable uh, fits into your rotation better, uh, and I use better in air quotes here, um, because the uh, the fact that block 8 lasts for longer allows you to use more spammables, uh, gives you a little bit more sustain overall in order to get better DPS. Um, so anybody who says that unstable uh, wall of elements is better than elemental block 8 on a magical warden specifically, um, they are not necessarily telling you the right information here because you have to take consideration, again, that spamble and your sustain overall. So if you guys see anybody recommending using unstable block 8, point them towards this video and say, hey, uh, Elemental Blockade is a lot better than Unstable, or I shouldn't say a lot better, but it, it, it is better than Unstable Wall of Elements. So that is it for this video. Hope you guys found this informative. If you guys have any questions, feel free to leave them down in the comment section below, and I will see you guys in the next dungeon.